All right, so now I thought I would do a quick video on the output of an LMC 555 timer. First, let's do a quick review of the any 555 timer output. So pin number three, we got uh, the oscilloscope measuring it right there. And we have our LED there. We have it wired as a uh, digital inverter right now. So the input is high. It's going to a pin two and a pin six when uh, the uh, LED is off too, the output is low. When I turn the trim pot low enough, now the output goes high. So we drop below one third supply voltage to uh, trigger it the other way. We gotta go above two thirds supply voltage. In any case, we're gonna go low, below uh, one third there, and the output goes high. As you can see, with the uh, green LED, the output of the NE555 is falling a little bit below four volts. And we don't have that much current going through it. That's a 1000 ohm resistor limiting uh, current to ground. So maybe we got about two milliamps of current. Now if I remove the LED, you can see that the voltage goes up and uh, it's falling a little bit shy of the five volt power supply. That is the main thing, even though there is no load. There you can see we got uh, five volts at the power supply, five volts set there. So. What we're gonna do now is swap out the NE555. I should actually turn the uh, power off first to be more safe. And uh, we're gonna pluck the NE555. And I got an LMC555. I bought uh, four of them, but they sent me five a long time ago. And uh, they're nowhere near as cheap as uh, regular 555s. Actually, I found some for like uh, 55 cents, but uh, there's no, uh, two day shipping with them on Amazon. So maybe you can find them kind of cheap somewhere else, uh, but maybe not. So there we go. We got uh, the power turned back on and you can see now we got five volts at the power supply. I screwed that up. But we have five volts at the output as well. That is the uh, main takeaway. There is no LED though at the moment, but uh, we did hit that five uh, volts. The output out actually can output five volts. And there we go, we add the LED. So there you can see that uh, when it has to source current, we still lost a little bit of voltage. So if we absolutely need to get that uh, five volts, we're gonna need to use it to a signal to something that uh, really doesn't need any current, at least a lot less than what the uh, green LED does. So main takeaway of this video was, if you need a rail to rail output of a 555 timer, the LMC version will do that as long as you only use it as a signal. You don't use it to uh, power anything. And even if you power uh, something really light, you may get uh, that five volt, but uh, it will go down as you need more current. So in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.